नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी Hello students. Today we will study the theorem number seven point six. Actually, this is the topic that is inequalities in a triangle. This is the topic of standard nine, chapter number seven, triangles. So till now we have studied about the equalities of the two triangles. That we are proving the two triangles congruent. That means we are proving the two triangles equal. That their sides, their respective angles, we are making them equal. But here, some of the triangles are there such that uh, they do not have any of the sides are equal. We called that type of triangles as an scalene triangle. So, uh, suppose you have the two line segments, then we cannot compare the single line segment. We cannot say it is a longer or larger, uh, smaller or longer. But if we have one another line segment, then we can compare it with another line segment. and then we can say that the given line segment is smaller or greater so here also we have to compare the two sides two angles that means in a triangle where where all the three sides are different length so in a scalene triangle we have some of the properties so which kind of properties are there that we have to study so here first of all we have given the theorem number 7.6 so the statement is If two sides of a triangle are unequal, the angle opposite to the longer side is larger. Here we have mentioned that the two sides are unequal. See, if the two sides of a triangle are equal, we are used to tell them the uh, isosceles triangles, and we know that if the two sides are equal, their opposite angles are also equal. That we have already studied. Now the thing is different. all the three sides are not equal right so what will happen the thing is that the angle opposite to the longer side is larger out of three any one is the larger out of three so opposite the angle opposite to that larger side is become longer let us understand it by taking an activity see here we have drawn one of the triangle a p a b right by taking this a as a center and p as a radius we have drawn one of the arc here so we know that this ap is the radius so whatever the line segment i draw from this point to this point all have the length remains the same that is equals to ap and all these lines are called the radius so let us move ahead what we have to do we have to fix this point a and we have to move this p point on this arc so let us uh, draw one more uh, let us visit this point p to here and join it with the a so now what will happen see here first of all p a length is this much p a length is this much p b length is this much so the angle is this now as we move this point to this we are calling we are call, call it p dash then see if we join now p and b this length is also pb length is also get increased right pb length p dash b now we can say that p dash b length is also increased again let us uh, move this point p dash point to Uh, left hand side see angle is also getting increased angle is increased side is increased let us again move this point suppose here p double dash now join this see we are not making the change in this lines right this p a line we are not making any change because this is the radius so p a p a p a p s a and p double s d double s a all these sides are equal but pb side is now increasing pb p dash b is greater than pb again this side is again increased you can see that as we increase the this side pb to p dash b to p double dash b its angle is also getting increased see first of all this angle is this much 
then again is increased by this much. Again it is increased by this much. Again we shift this point to here P triple dash. Then this side we are not changing. Right? But see this P double dash B, this P triple dash B is now greater than this P double dash B. And angle is also getting increased. Right? So here we can write down that that uh, the PB, this line is actually less than P dash B. It is also less than P double dash B and it is also less than, than P triple dash B. So see, gradually this line, this side of the triangle is increasing. Then here we can see that angle is also increased. Right? So we can write down that angle a P double dash angle P double dash AB, triple dash AB is the greatest than the angle P double dash AB. This angle is again greater than angle P dash AB and this angle is greater than the angle PAB. So PAB is the smallest angle. This is the greater, this is greater, this is greater. So get, gradually as the side is getting increased, this angle is also getting increased. Right? So now you can understand this theorem that if the angle, if we, this is the fixed side, this is also the fixed side. We are not changing one of these two sides, we are not changing. We are only changing the one of the side. As we increase this side, its opposite angle is also getting increased. So this is what this theorem 7.6. Now, there is an converse theorem of this theorem and that is stated as a theorem 7.7. .7. Statement is, in any triangle, the side opposite to the larger or greater angle is longer. See, this is about the angle and this is about the side. In a triangle, the side opposite to the larger angle is longer. You can see that out of this three angle, first, second and third, this angle is uh, greater and its opposite side, you can see that it is longer. So this statement theorem is the converse of this theorem. Right? It is very simple thing. If the angle out of three, whatever the angle is greater, its opposite side is longer out of this, out of another two side. In the same way, if the all out of the three sides one, choose the greatest side, then its opposite angle is also the greater than the opposite two angles, another two angles. Okay, so this is theorem 7.6 and 7.7 .7. and that is why it is called unequalities in a triangle. Again, 7.8, this is also the topic under inequalities in a triangle. The sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. Sum of the any two sides of the triangle is greater than the third side. So here we have taken two examples. One is triangle PQR. Right? So here we can write down that add any of the two sides. Let's, let us add PQ plus QR. So PQ plus QR. What we are getting? PQ is 12. QR is 21. Now what is the addition? Total we are getting 33. And what is the value? This is the value of uh, PQ plus QR. PQ plus QR. And what is the value of PR? PR is 18. PR is 18. And you can see that if PR is 18, this value is greater than the PR because this is 33. 33 is greater than PR. 33 is greater than 18. Right? We can choose on other sides, let us add uh, PR and QR. PR plus QR. So PR plus QR. PR is 80 plus QR. QR is 12 and the total is 30. Right? So what is PQ? PQ here is 12. So we can write down that PR plus QR is greater than PR because this is 30, 30, 3, 0 and this is 12. So 30 is greater than the 12. Let us uh, see in the same 
in triangle ABC. Here we can add AB plus BC. What is AB? That is 20. What is BC? That is 16. The total is 36. And what is AC? AC is 20. So here we can write down that AB plus BC is greater than AC. Right? We can also do this for another by taking another two sides. And we can prove that these two sides, whatever we have taken is greater than the third side. Right? It is the property of an inequality in a triangle. Actually, this property is applicable to all the triangles. Right? So, this is, uh, you can take uh, any of the triangle of your measurement. Take, do this activity. Take uh, any one triangle of any measure. You can check that the addition of these two, any two sides will always greater than the third side. So, there is one of the question you have asked that. Suppose you have to say that the triangle is possible or not. You have given that if the side AB is equal to 2 cm, side BC is equal to 6 cm and side CA is equal to 9 cm. And you have to ask that if we can draw the triangle of these sides, you have to take the base of this theorem. See, if we add these two sides, AB plus BC, AB plus BC, what we are getting? 2 plus 6, that is 8. And this is not greater than the third side, right? This is not greater than the third side, that is CA. This is not greater than the third side, CA. So, AB plus BC is not greater than the third side. So, we cannot draw the triangle using this size 2 cm, 6 cm and 9 cm. Right? You can practice this thing at your in your notebook and then you can understand what this theorem is trying to say. Okay? So this is all about this inequalities in a triangle. Okay? This is all about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.